everybody. Say a great big hello to He's the newest resident of Tortoise Land. He's really unique and special, and I want to show you why. Okay, here in Tortoise Land, you know, some of the tortoises here are male and female. They thrive, and sometimes they lay eggs, okay? Look at that, right? There's over two dozen eggs here. Most of them are from redfoot tortoises. And take a look right here in the front. These three eggs are just like gargantuan. They are Greek tortoise eggs. And here is where gargantuan hatched, okay? So how old is Gargantuan? He is, ready for this? Today is his 14th day here on planet Earth. And what makes him so special and unique is, of all these eggs, this guy is the only one to actually have hatched. And not only did he hatch, usually when they peck through the egg, they sit in the egg for like two, three, four days. They soak up the egg yolk, which comes through their, their belly button right there. That's almost all covered up. But this dude, when he hatched, he was already out of the egg. And he is the smallest tortoise to ever be born here in tortoise land. So he is so special. Tortoise land is a pretty magical place and a lot of magical things happen here. You guys wanna come and meet Max? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like getting kids excited about these gentle giants. Watch your fingers, he's not gonna hurt you. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> to witnessing the birth of a rare albino, and doing everything we can to help tortoises in need. But the adventures go way beyond tortoise land. This is the first time in my life I'm seeing uh, adult sea turtles. Oh my God. Lori, help me. Oh. One thing's for sure. Look at this. The dude has got himself stuck. You'll never be bored at tortoise land. What the heck are snails anyways? And you can always count on a few surprises. <gasps> She's laying eggs. So you can see big little boy that all kinds of magical things happen here. And Gargantuan is just one part of all the miracles that happen in tortoise land. I am so excited to tell you all that one of my best friends, Billy Joseph, loves what we do here so much that he and his band, Billy Joseph and the Army of Love, do all the music, amazing music, for the tortoise guy. So... Hey everybody, I want you to meet someone really special. His name is Max. And he is the official mascot of Tortoise Land. He's awesome and he's an African sulcata tortoise, which means he is the third largest species of tortoise in the world. They grow incredibly fast, can live up to at least 70 years old, and can weigh up to 250 pounds. Max weighed in at the vet at 107 pounds. And I got emotional a little bit because I found him in the bathroom of a pet store, a rundown shabby place not far from here. You know, I went in the restroom to use the restroom and I see in the corner against the wall, this tortoise and he was covered in drywall. He was just white with drywall because he was eating the drywall. Seeing him like that stunned me. And when I walked out of the restroom, he walked out of the restroom. And when I went down the aisle, he went down the aisle. The thing that really got me is that he looked me in the eyes. And at that point, I knew that I was taking him home. There was no way I was leaving him there. And it's been a love affair ever since. Why, Max? Max! Hey, we're telling this story about you, and you walk away. Am I boring you, dude?
you know, sadly, mankind has not treated these guys very well and they are struggling just to survive. So I created this YouTube channel, hoping that if we show how amazing these guys are, show they have personalities and just how cool tortoises are, that we can make a difference. And speaking of cool, my good friend Taylor Sean in Wichita, Kansas, he shares his love for reptiles and he has his own YouTube channel that deals just with chameleons. So I hope you're ready, Taylor, because I'm sending the drone your way to find out more about your world of chameleons and your little baby, Chroma. Hey, Kevin. Man, I love the tortoises and everything you're doing down there in tortoise land. Gargantuan is incredible. And uh, Shy Girl has been cracking me up for hours. But I wanted to show you my new little panther chameleon, Chroma. You know, I got Chroma because my viewers kind of pushed me to do it. Chroma is here now and he's mine and he's all blue and red and green and yellow. And teal, his colors are unreal. When I got him, they were like, well, we don't really know what color he is. Well, he shed like the first week after he got here and he has blossomed. Just look at this guy. Chroma is the new star of the series on my channel called Chroma Chronicles, where we chronicleize his life and try to gain that trust and that bond that I had with my last one. Chroma is what's called a an ambilobe panther chameleon. Chameleons live in warmer habitats. Little known fact, the uh, hat is the natural habitat of the Madagascar ambilobe panther chameleon. No, you probably didn't know that. These guys vary in size quite a bit. The smallest adult chameleon is the size of a match head. And then the largest of chameleon is about the size of a house cat. Amblobes are somewhat in the middle and can get pretty big. Over half of all chameleon species are on the endangered list. Speaking of endangered, did you know Max is an endangered species? That's why conservation efforts and sanctuaries like Tortoise Land are incredibly important. If you'd like to help out Tortoise Land, please send an email to the email listed in the description. Donations are amazing too. You guys literally keep food on the table for those tortoises and if you have any ideas or want to make a donation or just want to help out check the links in the description so kevin i have to thank you for showing me this cool footage this has been a lot of fun and i'd love to come visit you soon i'd love to see more of shy girl shy girl reminds me a lot of chroma they're super inquisitive and just both really funny but i can't wait to meet max and gargantuan me and him are going to be buddies but until then back to tortoise land and the tortoise guy wow taylor that was great and little chroma is quite the personality as far as what Shy Girl's been up to, well, whatever it is, I can guarantee you this, she's up to no good. It's time for Shy Girl versus the world. Oh, I... What's going on? I come out here, I had this open because I'm bringing the greens in, okay? No lie, look at this. I hear something rumbling around. Okay, how does she get in there? I don't know, okay? Look at this, look at this. How the heck did she get herself in the bar stool? Bandit, look at this, for real, okay? Somehow there's two bar stools, not just one. She's the funniest girl. She doesn't really care about the other tortoises. All the other tortoises, you see them out there? They're busy, they're out, they're signing themselves. This girl, doesn't care about anything but getting into trouble. There she goes. She's unbelievable. So this is why it's important to keep the doors closed and locked, you know? Because even with a closed door, she pushes the door open. She's getting big enough. She knows her way around. She waits for me to open things. Is that true or not true, Shy Girl? Tell them the truth. She pretends to be all shy. Look at, right? She's all shy, but the truth is she's looking for trouble. You gotta love Shy Girl. The further adventures of Shy Girl. <laughs> Where are you going, Bennett? All right, Shy Girl, we're closing the garage door. Okay, move over. The other way. All right, lady. Okay, Max. You hang on, buddy, okay? 